Hi, this is Nice Matthew, and today I'm going to make a pair of um, evil eye earrings. And I'm going to do sort of a herringbone weave. I'm working with a um, 22 gauge wire. Um, you can go with uh, down to a 24 gauge wire, but I wouldn't go much lower because it might make your earrings too flimsy. Um, and also you can go up to a 20, but ultimately the most important thing is that your bead fits, your wire fits through your bead. The thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a regular wrap loop. So I'm going to do a 90 degree angle. I'm going to wrap the wire right around my pliers so I have a loop. Then I'm going to grab hold of that loop and just take that tail, just take that tail of wire and start to wrap it around my uh, the base wire. Just string your bead on, okay, and just bring it up as far as you want. Now, keep in mind that the, this part that you're leaving up here, you're going to leave a space up here. That is going to be filled in with wire and it will sort of be part of the pendant or earrings or whatever you're making. So you can judge how much you want. You can have a less amount and, and just make a shorter style or you can make them longer. Okay, so I'm just going to go about a half an inch in. So you're just going to wrap up the side of your bead like that. And then once you're up to the top, keeping it not too tight because if it's too tight it'll slide up on your bead and, and you, you won't get the, it properly framed. Just keep it just sort of um, not too loose but not too tight, just kind of uh, framing your bead but not squeezing it. Just wrap around the top like that. Okay. That's done. You're just going to go down the opposite side with your wire. Okay. And you're just going to start go right around, right up the side again, the same side you started on. And then you're just going to take your again. If it's if the wires are coming forward, just push them back, right? and then just wrap it around and then come down again around your your bead okay and continue to push back as necessary okay especially when if you're working with a bead that's very smooth like this one your wires will um, will slide up a lot easier but if you're working with like a crystal that's got um, like uh, little cuts or facets in it it will be a little easier so it's already making it a little bit tighter because I keep pushing it down and now up again, right around the top, okay? And then back down the opposite side, like that. So this is what I have. And then right around again, back up. And if you notice on the top, it's beginning to stack up, okay? So each, each wrap is going a little bit higher up. just going to keep working with it and then just right around the top and right back down the side okay pushing back my wires as necessary okay and adjusting my bead and then right around again and then this is where I'm just going to finish it okay so this is what I have so far okay now I have this little piece of wire and I'm just going to start to wrap that around the top of the where I began my closed wrap. Okay, so just use up all the wire you have and then you, then you would have your finished charm that you could use on a pendant or for a pair of earrings. Now if you wanted to use it on a, as a pendant, this would be the circle that you're going to hang it from. So you can um, just instead of, because it wouldn't hang properly uh, the way the, the uh, circle is, so in, in that case you're just going to take your pliers and just do a really quick twist, alright, and then it will change the position. You would just slide on your your necklace, all right, and then that's what you would have. Instead, wanted to do a set of a pair of earrings, then you could just open up an ear wire, and then you would just slide on your ear wire, and you would have a pair of earrings. 